Hello everyone and welcome back to today's analysis. As now for the 55th episode I'm going to analyze Nanana the Samurai Jack, the titular main protagonist of the animated show with the same name. By far one of the most iconic cartoon heroes ever created, Samurai Jack is the ultimate representative of hope into a dystopian world, and in this episode I'm going to analyze all the information given about him throughout the series. We can understand Samurai Jack and his journey from an average prince into a small kingdom to the ultimate global hero that he has become. Now without further ado, let's dive in. Samurai Jack, while not exactly his real name, was born into a small Japanese kingdom in 1700, where his parents were the Emperor and the Empress. His life was pretty normal and good at first. However, by 1708, Akko ultimately came back and destroyed the small kingdom, and eventually he subjugated his father and his people, resulting in him, his mother and the magic sword all going into exile. And for the next 17 years, Jack trained himself across the entire world in order to be strong enough to defeat Akko and save the world. As, and by 1725, as the training was completed, Jack officially went to confront Ako, resulting into a deadly battle when which Jack emerged victorious. However, when he was about to give the, the killing blow to Ako, he had proceeded to open a time portal and Jack was transported into the future. In the year 4700, as Ako saving his own life and ultimately sending Jack into the future in order to avoid his death in, in their time, and upon arriving, Jack only found the entire world to be ruled and subjugated by Ako, and drastically different and changed <laughs> to the core, as well as the fact that his people and everything have all but been now long dead. And thus Jack officially traveled across the entire world, and made himself numerous friends and allies, and rallied up in various rebel cells in order to oppose Ako in his tyrannical regime, as well as fighting with Ako for decades, in order, all in order for Jack to find the time portal, so he can return back to the past, back during their very first duel, in order to kill Aku and avoid the dark future from coming true. However, that hope kind of vanished when Aku destroyed the last remaining time portal, and Jack ultimately lost his sword, resulting in him traveling across the entire world as some sort of a post-apocalyptic warrior, meanwhile growing depressed at the fact that he is unable to return to the past. Not to mention that the original time travel ultimately altered his aging process and allowed Jack to live longer than average new human standard, and thus becoming nothing short of nearly immortal. Yes, he is still capable to be killed by conventional ways, but he is unable to age or even grow sick, thus making Jack some form of near immortality. And however, by 4750, when Jack was finally about to give up on all hope and about to commit the unthinkable, something happened. And a certain person arrived in his life, Ashi, one of the daughters of Aku, and the elves managed to survive his wrath and ultimately managed to bond with him. And while the relationship at first was very rocky and even murderous to many points of view, she eventually came to care for Samurai Jack after he told her the truth about Aku and all his atrocities across the entire world. But now, before I go any further, we all should stop and ask ourselves, is Jack good? Because of the fact that while it's understandable that he is the good guy of the story, and he genuinely seeks to save the world from Aku, he himself proved to be to have certain flaws, such as anger issues, arrogance, and overconfidence, not to mention that because of all of this, he ultimately lost the sword to begin with, and spent decades roaming across the world like some sort of a madman. But of course, Jack ultimately managed to overcome all of this, as not only did he, he manage to prove himself worthy of the sword again, but ultimately managed to really mash in the process, the very girl that wanted to kill him, and literally a cause very own daughter, and even his own subconscious told him to abandon her and let her to her fate. Jack refused to do so, and ultimately chose to save her in spite of the fact that she is, or at least was at the time, evil, ultimately proving that Jack does have a heart and he does care about those around him and then thus ultimately the answer is definitely yes and Jack is good he's nothing short of pure good and once he proved himself worthy of the sword and meeting with Aku again Aku realized that she's his biological daughter and he often ultimately manipulated her into fighting with Jack and even turned her into a dark female mini version of him, and while Jack unable to kill the one he loves the most, ultimately gives up and let himself be captured by Aku, and Aku broadcasts it across the entire world for the people to see that he finally captured Samurai Jack and ultimately condemned him to death, as well as declaring his victory over all of them, resulting in all the rebels coming together in order to save Jack and finally try and have a one last stand against Aku once and for all. 
All the meanwhile, Jack managed to save Ashley from her darker self, and after Ashley realizes she has Aku's powers, she used them in order to teleport Jack back into the past, back into his very first duel with Aku in 1725. And with this, Jack finally was able to manage to kill Aku once and for all, avenging all the innocents that he killed and hurt into the other timeline, and avoided the dark future from coming true. And at the same time, he created an entire new timeline where Aku never rise to power. However, the one most negative aspect of this is the fact that Ashi, due to being Naku's daughter, and officially Aku being destroyed before he had her, technically never existed. And with this, Ashi ultimately faded away in Jack's arms right in their wedding, breaking Samurai Jack's heart. However, even with this, Jack will not give up on hope and love, and will ultimately always look forward no matter what's going on, and thus he will remain with his heart pure as he deserves. So in the end, who was, or possibly given his near immortality that he might still have it, who is Samurai Jack? He's nothing more but a simple innocent man who ultimately undertook a glorious mission in his life, a gigantic responsibility that will ultimately result in him taking decades in order to fulfill, a man that will ultimately be cursed with immortality and use it in order to save the world from the forces of evil, and a man that can easily be called as one of the most iconic heroes ever made in animation. Thanks for watching everyone, please don't forget to give a like and subscribe and have a nice day.